everybody and welcome to this week's LDOE news. Update 1.14 has just dropped and with it a whole host of new content, the main aspect of this being the season pass, however there has also been a major rework to the chopper system and gas station that is bound to both please and infuriate players. First up is the season pass, originally the rewards listed 100 steel plates. However, now the update has dropped, these rewards have been changed and it is now 20 steel plates instead. Furthermore, we have, as many players expected, a free version and a paid premium version of the Season Pass. And as we could have predicted, the rewards for the free version are incredibly poor compared to the work required to earn them, with the only steel available being at level 29 with just 5 steel bars. You can see the full list of the rewards scrolling across the screen now. Also, for those wondering, the Corgi Puppy is only available for the paid version of the Season Pass. Now this one I don't particularly mind, as the Corgi is just a purely aesthetic skin to the dogs. So that one, not the end of the world at all. Now, onto the tasks. It is worth noting that the tasks last for three weeks, so they're not meant to be completed over a couple of days. That being said, it will still take a lot of time to do and it may instead be a better use of your time to clear Bunker Alpha twice, as you will end up with better rewards. My original plan for this video was to remain completely impartial and state only the facts of the update, but I feel it's my job as a content creator for the game to make sure I share my feedback honestly. Seasons could have been a great addition to the game, but with the current tasks and rewards at the time of recording, I think that it was badly implemented which unfortunately has been the theme for this and the last couple of updates and I strongly hope that this is not setting a precedent for the future of the game. I, along with the other testers for the update, have all shared our feedback with the devs and we can just hope that they listen. Moving on to the second part of the update, the chopper rework again. This is now the third iteration of the chopper system, which I believe most players were happy with anyway. And I think for the most part it comprises some good changes. We now only have one bike instead of the four we had before, and we can completely customise it. However, resetting the system does mean that we have all lost the extra slots on our choppers, and are reset to only two slots, which is actually less than what we had before, as originally it was four slots. We are now able to repaint our choppers without using any paint, provided that we have painted the pattern previously. As for the gas station, it has undergone a complete rework. You can only travel there once you have completed your chopper, but you do not need to drive there. The layout of the zone has also changed slightly. The previous buildings we could loot now no longer have boxes in them, and the zone no longer has any enemies at all. It does, however, have lots of AI players, mostly standing around doing nothing. One of them we can see tinkering with a broken down ATV, which leads me to believe that if we are lucky, the ATV transmission will be found in the gas station. This is not me saying the ATV transmission is in this update, just want to clarify that. Standing outside of Jane's garage is a charming bloke called Lenny. After chatting with him, he shows you a list of items he wants in order to unlock a new chopper skin for you, the demonic Halloween looking one. It is worth noting, however, that he wants a ridiculously extortionate amount of items from you. So for all those hoarders among you, this is good news, but 30 engine parts are still a lot. Jane's Garage used to be host to multiple interactive stations, where you could trade things in for blueprints and repair kits. However, now they have all been deactivated and instead you talk to Jane. She will accept your items in exchange for chopper upgrades accepting most of the same things as before, plus the new item, biker magazines. The stats you can upgrade are durability, fuel saving, tank volume, damage, speed and capacity. In my opinion, capacity being the most important as I personally never drive my chopper around much, preferring instead to run with it and use it for the 8 extra storage slots. It's also worth noting here that if you had previously upgraded your chopper, so for example if you had the max level off-road bike, then you will already have quite a few points waiting with Jane so you can already cash out some upgrades to your bike. Now that's going to be all for this week's LDOE news, a nice in-depth look at the new update. I'm also going to be doing a purely gameplay video of the update focused more on the chopper and some season tasks. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I'll be seeing you all next time. Goodbye.